evening everyone. At the time of filming this, I have just turned 33 years of age. Starting to feel a bit older now, but there's life in the old dog yet. I hope anyway. So, this is sort of going to be like a, a little sort of unboxing video. And so, we've got this massive box here, which came all the way from Tasmania which is like right next door to Australia and that was from um, a, a long-term subscriber Jason you may remember I think I've mentioned in a community post before or somewhere uh, Jason started following the channel and I believe at the time he weighed something like 200 kilos and he wanted to do something about he wanted to change his his life for the better lose some weight get more active eat better things like that and according to him my channel and my walking has inspired him to do just that to start walking more um eating better just exercise in general and he lost the last time i've checked he lost an incredible 100 kilos see so half his body weight it's crazy. Hopefully you can see some some photos of his progress, like his before and after photos. And yeah, he looks a million dollars. And it's just, I bet he feels a million dollars as well. Absolutely incredible, mate. So well done again. I really do appreciate the fact that yeah, you, you claim that I have inspired you to do that. And yeah, I'm sure there is, there is some truth in that. But of course, you've got to remember you can only get by so much on inspiration it's up to you to put the hard work in and do it yourself really um you know loads of people are inspired you know by others but it really it's down to you to put that that work in that hard work in and stuff to make it happen so really i think jason mate you should give yourself more credit you've done incredible anyway so him and his his wife, his lovely wife, they've done things like the Overland. Is it the Overland Trail or the Overland Track? And I believe that's in Tasmania. He's actually got a channel as well. So I'll try and put a link in the description below. So check it out and subscribe, of course, watch his videos. He's only just started, so he's only got a few videos on there. But he's done some cool stuff. This massive box has been kind of like, I think, a project of his for over a year at least i know he's been trying to send me stuff and there's been issues with oh, postage i think stuff got sent back and he spent a lot of money on not only the stuff that's in the box but actually sending it i'm not going to say how much but it was like three figures easily and then when it arrived in this country parcel force held it and said you you know they sent me a letter saying you've got to pay customs charges and like vat and all that sort of stuff in order to get the parcel sent then to me and it was it was a fair bit of money and i told jason and he was like ah oh. and he just went don't worry mate he went i'll pay for it this end um send me the parcel tracking number and stuff and all that and i'll sort it out and he very kindly paid for the whole postage costs, all the taxes, everything, to get something like this from another country. So that is absolutely incredible, mate. Thank you so much. And you know, I'm a man of my word. I said I will do a video showing you what's in it. So you're dying to get into it. I'm rabbiting on, sorry. So first off, we've got two dehydrated meals by Camper's Pantry. Hope you can see that. This one is apricot chicken. Chicken mixed vegetables with apricot sauce and pasta. 100% real meat. And it's actually made in Tasmania. It says just there. So these are really, really big size pouches. So I'm going to save these for when myself and the very lovely Candice do a wild camp together. We don't do that many camps together. She's she's more into the walking than she is the wild camping. And 
especially when it's really cold as well she doesn't she can't cope with the cold so we'll sort of wait until spring or maybe early summer and do some camps and you'll see those definitely this is that one and there's another camper's pantry one and that one is moroccan pork traditional moroccan pork served with vegetables and couscous 100% real meat again they take 300 ml of boiling water apparently they look really really good so we've got those two <laughs> we have a cuddly toy it's like generation game or something isn't it so this i had to i had to um look up what this what this animal was any ideas anyone bearing in mind this has come from tasmania so jason's kind of tried to i suppose showcase his wonderful island country it's a tasmanian devil and uh, it's kind of cute i'll probably give that to candice <laughs> apparently they're really vicious um, I've watched a little documentary on them. Next up, we have a really nice denim baseball cap with a, a nice little adjustable strap on it. There we go. Hopefully you can read that. I'm going to stick that on now. I do need a, a new baseball cap for when the summer comes because my other one, I think, has fallen apart a little bit. And this is quite a sturdy one. It's nice. So keep that on shall we go that's the one the first of two lots of ciders we've got these Willie Smiths they were established in 1888 um, so it's Willie Smiths so it's like freaking good apple cider Huon Valley, Tasmania, and they're five percent. So, they're, yeah, they're a little bit stronger than normal. I'm going to save them, and you'll see those on walks and stuff like that. Hats getting on my nerves actually now. Take that off. Right, the next ciders we've got, all Tasmanian again, are these Franks. Franks, a Tasmanian cider story. Established in 1836. So this one's 3.5%. It's cherry pear cider. Sounds pretty decent. And then this one, this is the wear a nappy job. This is the fall asleep in your shoes job. 8% this one. And it's raspberry and pear cider. That sounds quite nice. I reckon that could be quite deceptive. I reckon that could be quite an easy 8% to drink. I'm looking forward to them. So you'll be seeing those. A tea towel, which I've not actually taken the tag off yet. Because I had a look in this box before I started filming this. We have a tea towel of the island of Tasmania. So it shows you sort of all the things it's famous for and stuff. Quite a difficult one to show this. My mum's not a fan of like decorative tea towels. She likes very plain, colour coordinated tea towels. Me, I'm the exact opposite. Like if I have my own house, my own kitchen, and I had tea towels, I'd have tea towels from like everywhere and anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Like if I go somewhere and there's a gift shop and there's a and they do a tea towel, I would buy it. I wouldn't normally because like as I, said, I don't have my own digs and. I know my mum doesn't like them, but I would actually buy my, I would buy tea towels like this. I think they're brilliant because I just like memories of where you've been and stuff. So I'm liking that. Might bring that on a camp as well. Then we've got ration packs. So this is a USMRE, so not Tasmanian, but a USMRE. Menu 20, and this one is Italian Italian sausage with pepper and onion in marinara sauce. Now, I think Jason had had this one before himself, and I said, that sounds interesting. I've never heard of that one before. It must be a new one or, I don't know, an old menu or something. And he went, oh, I'll get you one and I'll send you one. 
So cheers, mate. I'm going to definitely be trying that out on a camp at some point. I have to avoid, like, like wet meals that you get in ration packs now because they give me really, really bad acid reflux and heartburn. Dehydrated camping meals, though, not a problem. Wayfarer meals, like the wet meals, I don't get it from those either. But it's like ration pack wet meals or oh, it's really bad. So I will, of course, I will still be having the, these every now and then. But I'll make sure I'm taking some medication or something if I know I'm going to be having this. So, um, like I say, I'm feeling my age. Never used to be an issue. Um, hence, probably why I'm not going to have a cider tonight as well because I don't want to. I don't want to flare it up, you know. And um, this one's really interesting. This this massive 24-hour ration pack is. It's an Australian Defence Force combat ration, one man, CRM1, consists of two main meals, various light snacks, sundry and beverage items. And yeah, it's a 24-hour wrap pack. Yeah, it's got a hexamine stove and tablets. So it's got a stove and fuel with it as well. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've got those already, but that's so cool when ration packs come with that. So look, oh, look at that bag, it weighs a ton. It's like a brick you'd throw it at someone. Uh, I'm not going to open it yet because I don't want to spoil the surprise. And plus this video will probably be about two days long then. Then there's this as well, um, which I think is part of it, but it was separate for some reason. And there's like two of these. And of course they, oh, Stormproof matches in there. There's instant tea, instant coffee, bog roll, ship tickets. Yeah, so I reckon that's part of the ration pack anyway. So that's pretty cool. And that is it. Jason, you are an absolute ledger, mate. Thank you so much for all of those goodies. That's incredible. And I cannot wait to take this stuff out and review it and share it with you all give you my thoughts on it all absolutely amazing we've got to give the Tasmanian devil cuddly toy a name as well um, that's it get in the comments what we're we gonna name this little fella I don't know if it's male or female so it's got tags coming out of its bum so if it was made in like 2019 it's probably gender fluid so it's probably yeah, you know, it's, it's probably non-gender specific or something. So, like a few other presents from people, lots of different things and stuff. Um, I wanted to try and keep this video short, but you'll be seeing sort of everything that I got in the coming weeks, months and years even. So, yeah, this is brilliant. Thank you very much. And also thank you for all the birthday wishes and stuff. It was incredible. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Look after each other and stay safe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.